Okay, so today we're going to look at a different Debian distribution called Venari Linux, which is Debian Linux with a GNOME on top of it with a couple of additional customizations. And we're going to take a look at uh, it today and see how it runs. Okay, nice welcome screen. Next. English US, that's right. Right, skip that. Let's start using it. And the first thing I want to do is just check the settings out here and go to display 20 by 1080. Okay, let's see, is there an install option somewhere? Okay, let's go next. New York is fine. Erase the disk. Give it a strong password. Next. Install. Install it now. And I'll come back once it's uh, on to the next portion. Okay, now that we have Venari installed, we can take a closer look. And once again, the welcome screen. Next. No, thank you. Next. We can skip that. We can start using it. Let's go to the settings quickly. And if we check the about here, you'll see Venari. We've given this thing six gigs of RAM. We are on Wayland KVM. And this is GNOME 43, I believe. So immediately out of the box, really nice uh, bit of customization they've done here. Uh, you know, the icon theme and the, just even the background theme, um, add-ons and plugins makes so much sense for a default uh, GNOME install. Um, you know, icons again on the desktop, maximize, minimize. As a pre-installed software would go, uh, they have Bleach Bit. They've got a Chess Firefox Updater. Interesting. Firefox. I mean, if we look at System Monitor, uh, file systems used only 7.2 gigs. And resource wise, using 1.8 gigs. And low ish CPU usage. Um, we can create also a USB flash drive. Uh, powered on Venari software. What is this? Oh, I guess it's a shutdown timer type thing. Okay, that's pretty nifty. And then over here as well, they've got the Venari OS tweaks. So you can see you can change your accent color. So you could change your accent color then straight to blue. And yeah, it's actually changed these. That's actually pretty cool. I'll put that back to there and you can have uh, your shell colors as well, uh, light, dark. This is already on dark. Um, your dark and desktop. So here, your immediate options, do you want to show the trash or not uh, in the actual dock? Do you want to auto-hide the dock? Do you want panel mode instead? Um, do you want to show external devices? Um, you know, on the desktop, do you want to show network drives? Do you not want to? And where do you want the dock? Do you want it on the right side? Do you want the bottom? Do you want it on the left? Yes. Yeah, I know it's using a different tweaks and that to do it, but this is a really nice addition, and I wish a lot of uh, distros had something like this straight out of the box. Um, it makes something that's so... that should be so simple even more simple, and it just makes it feel more um, intertwined. So I really like this. Um, here you can choose the size of your fonts, do you want your Windows control on the left or the right side? Right, and of course, extra settings. Uh, do you want a tray icon settings? Desktop icon settings. Let's just close that. Or any more advanced stock settings. So, no, it's using a bunch of uh, included extensions and add-ons, which is fine. But it's nice to have a central tool to, to do some basic of these configurations without having to open up each one. It is absolutely awesome. 
it's nice to see a with something extra done honestly um out of the box i guess that is their website there that open up okay so carrying on taking a look um the other stuff libra office 7.6 prince tool g edit um you know bleach bit as i mentioned earlier to just periodically remove uh some unnecessary files or temporary files that can be removed or to just clean your clipboard or your history uh, on, from a utility standpoint really pretty much the, the basic stuff dictionary characters fonts management uh, synaptic package manager which it uses because it is of course debian based um, there's a power statistics which isn't doing much and then of course they do use gnome software not my favorite but not the worst application ever using of course as you can see here uh debian repos right authentication and some developer options right there there are a couple of updates available which i'm not going to apply right now though and of course on the taskbar you've got your things like your terminal right which immediately comes with uh, near fetch and of course pre-configured this so that's pretty cool to see this out of the box and then your gnote to take notes with definitely a little bit more of become a popular app in recent times uh lollipop or media more for music to be specifically correct and Geary that uh, from a tweaks um Venari tweaks of course if you didn't want to use Venari tweaks you could just use uh, gnome tweaks and um extensions also nice to see a distribution with emacs pre-installed and here are all the additional extensions that get used uh, for this distribution, as you can see here. Okay. But what else you might ask? Well, you know, often when looking at this, just I always go on and say, hey, I want to see something extra. You need to see something different. And I think this is a nice ground. They've taken, um, added at least a really nice tweak tool and put this all on top of debian and really come up with a really nice distro as with so many of these type of uh things i really hope that you know they'll continue making it and you know it won't just disappear one day but i think it's absolutely a great uh, effort and really really um quite enjoy it including the artwork as well so really great work that they've done here and if you use it or you tried it or have your own comments, let me know. As always, bye for watching.